This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. last couple of weeks we've been looking at a whole host of aspects on how you can study in the UK. What course to pick, how to identify the college that is right for you, visas, scholarships, you name it. Well we hope it's been of some use to you. Your questions of course keep throwing them at us and we're going to try and get the experts to answer. Today we have a very bright, young and accomplished group with us to talk about a whole host of things that perhaps you didn't know studying in the UK brings. And also, all those who want to go to the UK and some questions are there, we are hoping are going to pose directly to this group that has studied in the UK, come back and now very successful in their own right. We have students from one of India's top schools, the Sri Ram School, the British School students as well with us. And like I said, a bright bunch of those who've studied come back and can't wait, I'm sure, to share their experiences with the rest. Uh, thanks all so much for joining us. I'll start by asking you, you've studied uh, uh, in the UK. Now, how, how did you take the decision? I mean, how did you sort of identify what you wanted to study? Where on, you know, on, on the map do you want to go? How does one take that decision? Uh, so I'm a lawyer. Hmm. So it becomes a little easy for me to shortlist the places that I want to do my master's in. Because there are a couple of jurisdictions that you could hmm. probably pursue your master's in so hmm. that it gets easier for you. Hmm. You have the choice to probably come back or hmm. stay there. Hmm. So UK was the obvious choice for mm. me. Mm. A lot of the laws in India are uh, based out of UK laws. Mm. And there are also authorities in certain other fields. Mm. So whenever there is some kind of confusion with respect to Indian laws, we refer to UK laws. Mm. So UK was the obvious choice for me, particularly intellectual property law. Mm. That was an area of interest. Luckily, I knew that, I, that that's the field that I wanted to pursue my master's in. Mm. Is that unusual, really? I mean, uh, if I could ask you, is, is that sort of unusual, that kind of clarity on I, this is what I want and this is where I'm going to get it. I mean, it, it, what's been your experience in your peer group? Uh, my experience in the UK was fantastic. I, in fact, when I uh, planned to go down to the UK, I wanted to study um, accounting and finance. Mm. And uh, after looking at uh, different places, I particularly found that UK was the uh, best place to study accounting and finance because it was a natural progression to go down to do your chartered accounts at that point in time when I uh, when I went down to the UK. Uh, you know, if I could just ask you, for all those who've, you know, who we've been speaking to, and they've been saying, there's just so much on offer. It's just all over the world, there's so much on offer. We just don't know what we are cut out to do. In your experience, what would you say? I think when you go to college, you don't necessarily need to know hmm. beforehand hmm. what is it that you want to do when you come out. Hmm. I think the college education helps I you, uh, you know, form your views and, uh, you know, you, you learn from others. You get a lot of exposure. Hmm. So, when I, I studied at the London School of Economics, I got an 80% scholarship to study there. Hmm. The exposure to different fields of work was just so much. Uh, like, I, I joined Goldman Sachs after LSE because the, the, the investment banking was all over. When you go hmm. to LSE, right. it, right. you can't help right. but want no to be an investment it. banker. Right. You can't escape right. it. Right. But equally, there were enough companies coming on campus for hmm. different domains, whether hmm. it could be accounting or insurance or even media hmm. or um, international organizations. So I think you have the choice to go and explore different fields and make right. up your mind what you so want to do. So you're saying that you weren't sort of restricted. It sort of opened up a whole new world. I mean, you, you name it and you, you could have perhaps if you were interested. Yeah, I'm Take saying when it. I went to college, I didn't know what I wanted to do. But right. when I, while I was then, when I came right. out, I knew right. exactly what I wanted. Is that is that sort of your experience as well? Does that really tend to happen? Because I'm sure that will put many people at ease, many students and their parents at ease that, you know, we constantly tell them, it's not It's not know. It's no idea, you know. So that kind of anxiety. Absolutely. So I went uh, to the UK straight after my undergrad in, in, in Delhi. And um, one of the things that... The reason, one of the reasons I chose the UK was uh, it was either you know the US or the UK and the US the UK gave me a nine month program mm -hmm. so as as somebody who's just finishing an undergrad and I studied social development and human rights so the, the University of Sussex gave me that opportunity and um, like you're saying it it did open your mind a lot right and I, I I can see lots of people agreeing I mean 
uh, do that? I well, guess there's no. I went for my post grad mm. uh, to LSE as well mm. in international relations. Mm. I went after my master's in JNU. Mm. So the point is that right now I currently teach um, in LSR mm. as a guest lecturer for political science. And I think it gives a, a completely different perspective because you know you come back with a lot of experience, lot of knowledge, mm. and it's just not knowledge with uh, you know academics. You mm. know where, where 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 you know you are interacting with so many people, and mm. when you come back, you know the students that you're teaching, they are the future of India. You know, and you keep you know you keep talking to them and you interact with them, and they are you know they you share your experience with them, and mm. I think in my opinion. UK gives you the platform and you know for a destination where you can actually make it big in your life. Yes. I just want to hear from say the the students at, at the back. What is it that sort of you want to do up ahead after school? What's the kind of education are you looking to go say out for your undergrad, postgrad? Do you sort of have clarity? I mean you look really yeah. young but yeah. when does it start? Because at the same time for a lot of people especially my generation who had no clue what was going on. Yeah. There are loads of others now who who sort of are, who have the the road ahead charted mm -hmm. very early on yeah. and they sort of know what they are headed for. Yeah. Uh, what's it so, like for you? And right now it's pretty competitive so people mm. decide at um, a very early stage Unfortunately, I haven't yet. So that's okay. There's I've plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. So I've kept all my options open, mm -hmm. and but I'm honestly focusing going to going abroad. What about you? I do know I want to stay on in academics, and abroad sort of um, lets you explore a lot more uh, mm -hmm. disciplines mm -hmm. because interdisciplinary stuff mm -hmm. is. Um, it's right. much more common over there than here in India right now, right. and that's something that's always interested me. So. Right. That's perhaps why I'm looking out. Right. Yeah, I just wanted to add, mm. I want to pursue economics and psychology. And um, actually, I was facing a um, problem because um, many colleges don't offer economics and psychology as a course because psychology is considered as a natural science, whereas mm. economics is social science. Mm. But now, um, I found some colleges. <laughs> fortunately in UK that do offer. Mm. Um, there's St. Andrews, Durham, mm. and even UCL. Mm. And I'm really looking forward to studying in UK because they give you that flexibility and you can choose between different modules. Mm. So you have that flexibility and you know a global perspective studying at some of the top colleges. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that global perspective, I think, is something that everyone sort of is in, is in agreement with. Someone mentioned earlier that how, maybe it was you, so someone mentioned earlier when we were talking about how, you know, it's like being a global citizen. I've worked with people who've innovated at that level and who've built companies mm. and who've, who've actually uh, mm. done groundbreaking stuff. Mm. So that gives me a huge confidence boost, mm. which tells me that, you know what, I can do uh, and I can innovate at that level right. as well right. and actually go out and deliver in the UK and in India and across right. the world. Right. So I think it's very important. Right. And those networks, I would imagine, very important for, for, for everybody. So the idea is that you get connected to such people and they eventually branch out into the, these different industries mm. and then you have a base. So you mm. have that network mm. and when you're back here, when you're back in India, mm. you can always make use of that network and you know get your things worked out over right. there. Right. Maybe for yourself, maybe for your company. Right. So the network, it does help, yeah. Right. Now, I, just, I just want to ask another question to all those who've been out, which is all these are, of course, advantages that perhaps you sort of discovered as, as you went along. But what was the main reason, the, the, the key reason why you chose to study abroad, why you chose to go to the UK? I did my master's from London Business School. So my, one of my major reasons of going to the UK was because of the school, hmm. was because of London Business School. And uh, primarily, one, it, it had a good brand and reputation. Mm. Then secondly, it was London. It is historical. It yeah. is financial. It is modern. Right. It is right. dynamic. It is very vibrant. Right. So both the factors. Yeah. And then again, it had the course of my choice. Okay. I'd just like to add to what uh, my friend here just said that uh, one of the reasons that why, why I went to the UK to study was the value that uh, a UK degree adds mm. to your profile. Mm. Uh, besides the course that you study, I think what is even more important is that when uh, employers look at you, mm. uh, they identify a, a degree from a, an, a leading UK university mm. with a certain set of skills, a certain set of values, mm. uh, and a certain set of qualities that mm. you possess. Mm. So say if I graduate from LSE, 
my employer would know that i'm very likely to uh, you know have a good work ethic mm. uh, a, a, a good uh, in effective communication skills mm. i'm i'm going to be having a good understanding of basically people, everything that he's looking for yeah, so is, is gives you that edge, definitely gives that edge uh, right. in, in the employment sector be it right. in india in the uk or anywhere else in the world right so that was definitely one of the reasons why i went to the uk Right. Sorry. Has that been your experiences? I studied mm. at King's College London mm. and I studied from some of the best minds there. Mm. I've studied from people who've actually written the books, mm. who've actually made given out those judgments. Mm. So you learn from the best and you learn with people who have either and varied fields like they have experience for 10 years, they're lawyers with experience of 10 years and they're fresh undergrads like me. Mm. So you're right. learning in a conducive environment mm. where you can actually discuss with the uh stalwarts hmm. what your views on that particular subject is so your knowledge okay. base increases tremendously in my school we had very different ways of all if you talk about career services we had peer leadership programs in which second year mbas they would help us prepare with interview questions they'll help us you know prepare even the personal questions you had a nice career portal with which had ad, which had ad for jobs from all over the world hmm. we had different networking workshops so those kind of opportunities mm. are just available there so the right. mode of Perhaps teaching is very yet. very different the right. mode of teaching and learning mm. if you compare it to india is very that's that's my personal experience mm. india is more examination based mm. they more discussion based so they facilitate the uh, basically they encourage students to understand the topic mm. and not just learn it right. but to understand it and to comprehend it right like all the uk universities irrespective of this lse manchester leicester mm. they all really focus on sports and there's so many different clubs mm. so it's a good opportunity for you guys to interact with your classmates your uh, you know potential colleagues in future to kind of gel right. along with them over there right and that all rounded development yeah i will are you are you one of those who's hoping to study uh, abroad are you hoping yeah i would just like to ask those who've studied in uk that what sets uk apart from us uk is more global so like lbs had students from different countries and just about 4 months ago i visited the us my brother is studying at harvard business school you know you can sense the diversity there are more americans over there while uk is much more global so it gives you a more international perspective yeah uh, another point is you know the, an average course in the uk that is usually 3 years in the us most of the courses are 4 years so you actually end up saving one year um, also uk is in the europe right so you have the opportunity to kind of have look at 30 <laughs> different countries right, uh, right any weekend you can just you know kind of plan your uh, uh, plan your schedule right. and just go for any weekend to right. any any of the countries that are around so that's really cool i think right we've all done that they say as we talk about traveling and all that uh, that the uk brings we're slipping into a quick break now coming up after that we've looked at studying and and you know the kind of courses that you can study why how you choose where you want to be in all of that now we're going to ask those who've been there what else besides travel what was all the other cultural experiences that they had what about all the partying what about telling our youngsters and all the fun they can have there as well that's coming up right after this.